is 1030 sharp. Welcome Hosanna Church into the house of the Lord. I'm so happy to see all of you guys here today on this cold, windy morning. We're starting to get into fall, but praise God that he gave us another day and we are alive and breathing. We can all stand as we get ready to get into this time of worship. I'm going to first start by reading from Psalm 105. Psalm 105, verses 1 through 3, says, Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Amen. I think by just us being here today, breathing and being able to stand on our own two feet, being able to see out of our eyes. We have so much to be thankful for. And then above all, the many more blessings that we we have in our personal lives. So let's take this time to raise a hallelujah to him for his wonderful graciousness, his mercy that he gives to us, and just praise his name for all his wondrous goods.
All creation cries holy. You are lifted high, holy, holy forever. I was, uh, when I was preparing the songs, I was thinking about the text in Revelation 5.11 where it says, Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands, and ten thousands times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Stands above the night, the angels fly. 
O oh Lord our God, you are the only one that is holy, the only one that is worthy. You are the supreme being, Lord. You are majestic. You are awesome. We only worship you, Lord Jesus. You are so loving. You are so just. You sacrificed your son for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Lord Jesus, we come and we give you all our praise and worship today, Lord. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful for the freedom to come, Lord Jesus, together to worship you in a building, Lord Jesus, and, and have the freedom to do that in this country, Lord. There are some people who don't have that freedom, Lord. They would risk their lives if they were doing what, they are, what we are doing today, Lord Jesus. We are so blessed, Lord. We live in comfort, Lord, and sometimes we might be too comfortable, Lord. Lord, today is a great day, Sunday, Lord Jesus, where we can leave all our distractions aside and come, Lord Jesus, to meet with you, Lord. Lord, forgive us if during the week we don't do the same at home, Lord. We should have Sunday every day, Lord, even in our homes, at work, Lord, anywhere in our personal lives. We should put you first, Lord Jesus. We are so blessed to be able to do that in this country too, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the praise and worship. I thank you, Lord, for the time and the energy and the effort the worship team has put, Lord, to help lead us and guide us into the worship, Lord. I thank you for the tech team, Lord Jesus. They put so much work and effort into this. Lord, everybody who comes and puts work here, Lord, to make this service and to be able to reach the hearts of everyone who is attending, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for the sermon, Lord Jesus, that you help, Lord, be to be able to reach our hearts, Lord Jesus, so our hearts can be open, Lord, to you and your words, Lord, because your word, Lord, your, your Bible is truth. It cuts, Lord Jesus. It is so wonderful, Lord Jesus. It exposes the innermost being, Lord Jesus, and we need that. We need, Lord, to just put aside us. We need you to be in the front. We need you to be in our hearts fully, Lord Jesus. We can't do anything by our own power, Lord. It is only by your power, Lord Jesus. We want you, Lord, to be the forefront of everything, Lord Jesus. Only you give us true peace, true comfort, true security, true power, Lord Jesus, true joy. Lord, only you give us that, Lord. You are the only one that is worthy to be praised. You are the only one that we will be praising in eternity and saying, holy, holy, holy forever, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray and I thank you for this day and continue to be with us during the service and help us, Lord Jesus, to open our hearts to you. Amen. Before we close out this time of worship, let's just sing the two choruses just one more time. Again, I say welcome, Hosanna Church, to the house of the Lord. If we can take now this time to turn to our left and right and greet each other in the name of the Lord, and then we will move on to community time. 